Hi, friends. We know what kind of day it is. When you see this here, mail day. So I ordered this and I didn't realize like it said back ordered. Um, and then I just kind of, and then I saw that and I was like, oh, I guess I'm not getting this pen. It's a pen. Spoiler, it's a pen. Um, but I guess I am getting it because here it is. <laughs> and the site did say back ordered. It was like completely my fault for not noticing that. You know, I just got really excited. Oops. And what is it? Belly gun. It is a pen. I said that. I'm getting glasses. So I'm going to be honest, my pin friend, Amanda, kind of convinced me to get this pin. She said nothing to me about it and doesn't know, but I saw a video of hers. Okay, I want, I like watched many of her videos in a very short period of time, and boy, was this pretty. I like this box. I mean, boxes don't matter, but this one's dope. Nope. That's cool. I don't like that this is brown, but we'll get over it. Why do I have to hate brown? This is fake. So this is the Pelican M205 in Moonstone. It is lovely. There's our little pelican beak as a clip. I think I said, um, oh, I didn't say where I got this from. I got this from nipsmith.com. I think I requested Tune and Smooth, but I don't remember anymore. I could probably look if it matters, but it doesn't. So the box that so much care and effort went into will now go away and never be seen again. So let's look at this pen. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go get some pens to compare it to. Okay, I got some pens. I always think like seeing the pen comparisons, sometimes I feel like, like, are you just, like, flexing right now with the pins that you have? But, like, I'm not. But I am trying to find pins that, like, I think a lot of people might have. So here's the M205. I think the most appropriate comparison is to my lovely new M605. So, this is shorter and less girthy. I could compare it to a Lamy Vista, which is the same size as the Safari. The new Diamond 580. And if we want to be obnoxious, I thought these might be closer in size. The Lamy 2000. And if we want to flex the Sailor Pro Gear. These are actually the closest in size. So let's do that lineup so we can talk about how much I've spent on pins and how I never need to buy another pin ever again. So there we are. There's a size comparison. 
if we want to see them without their caps on, they're going to roll all over the place. Oh, hello. Look at you. I didn't even look at you yet. You're not as beautiful as the other one. Mm -mm. I'll forgive you, but... Here they are with their caps off. So it is actually really close in size to the Lamy 2000 or to the M605. Now we can stop being so obnoxious and put our too many pins away. In my defense, I have too many pens and I've spent too much money on them. This one is like purple and sparkly. So, these two I want to definitely do like a comparison of. And also most of these aren't inked. We're going to ink this up because of course we're going to ink this up. It's a brand new pen. So it's a piston filler. You can see the piston there. Am I putting water in it to rinse it first? I am. This piston section is really, the movement of it is really smooth. So I've been like thinking, what am I possibly going to put in this? Because I just emptied my pen that had Earl Grey in it. So I decided to go with a pen that is, or with an ink, because I just wanted to, okay? I put this on one of my top 10 favorites, even though I've only used it once. This is Colorverse Opportunity from the Red Planet, season five. Was a really good fill. Maybe you want to push them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see the ink up in the collar there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe that's where it, it poops from. I mean, you know where it blurps the ink. We, we all know I don't think pens that actually poop, right? I think we all know that. So we're eight. I waited all day for this. This didn't arrive till after seven. How am I supposed to survive all day knowing this pen is going to be here any minute and then it's not here and it's not here and it's not here and it's not here. And I did not obsessively, I did obsessively check the tracking. It's coming here. What are you? Random page. What are you? Let's write hello. Wow. This writes nicely, but that seems really fine to me. It is an M. It says M on it. It doesn't stand for Maria. Got it right in here. See, I started doing this thing where I keep track of stuff. Um, we can talk about the irony of me writing this front part in. I actually used a Pilot G6 or something like that. So we have. It's his opportunity right now. <laughs> this pen isn't very juicy. I wonder if it's running dry. I made this page. It's a sheet of Claire Fontaine paper glued onto the... Oh, it's coming up right there. That's fine.
felt like I did this ink already, but I checked twice and it's not in here. It looks like color verse, but I don't care. This is good enough for me. O P P. How can I explain it? Take it frame by frame it. Upward to <laughs> can Maria spell? This is what you're all learning right now. Answer? Yes. Can she talk and write at the same time? Less good. Oh, here's what it looks like in my hand. Like a pen. I already think this is a perfect line. Just like this. And adding the cap to the back would leave nothing for your right hand to do. But if you want to put the cap on the back, it's there. It'll fit. It'll be a little bit heavier. I think if you put the, that down, it's okay. What's today? Well, let's just take a guess at the date. It's good enough, okay? Um, Pelican. M205 Moonstone. Did I say what this pen is? This is a Pelican M205 Moonstone. Medium. And then I usually write a sentence. Let's just come up with something. I may have misspelled chatoyance. I wrote moonstones are a semi-precious gemstone with a rainbowy chatoyance. Because that's what they are. It's a wet pen. Okay, let's compare the 205 and 605. Where, where do we want to compare them? Should we compare them here? I, listen to this. This is something I love about this paper. That's right, I like the sound of it. This is a heavier pen.
It might just be me, but I feel like this steel nib on the 205 is just a little more fine, especially on these side strokes. It's hard to tell because I'm not using the same ink and your eye will perceive line weight differently based on the color. Um, this pen is lovely. Do I wish I had gotten the broad nib? Yeah, of course I do. It's me. I keep hearing about people who talking about how broad Pelicans write and it's just like, look, are you like only using pilot pens and so you're comparing apples to oranges? Because this does not write broadly. This writes mediumly. This is a medium nib and it writes mediumly. What does a broad nib write like? You might ask yourself. Like this. Do you see that? It writes like that. That's a broad nib, writing broadly. This is a medium nib, writing mediumly. Okay, that's our lesson for today. Broadly and mediumly are apparently words. Anyway, um, <laughs> look, I've had enough of your guff, Maria. Shut up and finish the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Here is my lovely, new, beautiful Pelican M205 Moonstone. Again, I got it from Nibsmith. Uh, A++ recommend um, him and the pen, but do yourself a favor, get it in broad. You want it. You know you do. You like them thick and juicy. Uh, so, yeah. That's all. Thanks, everybody. Bye.